Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is how to enhance, save time, enhancing eyes using the power of AI. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, right from here, this is the original image we're dealing with. And with just a few enhancements, this is what we're going to turn it into. Now, a couple things I want you to look at really close before we get into it. Look at our eyes. Look how amazing this is. And notice I'm able to get in, add a little catch light, enhance the eyes, even with all the hair that's on her eyes. All right? So I'm going to click on the history tool, and we're going to start from the beginning, and I'll show you how we came up with this. All right? All right, so I'm going to start here, and the very first thing I did was I went to templates, and I let templates start me out, and I just went through, and I looked at some ideas, and the one I chose was fade. So that's a good base. Look at this. Before and after. All right? So now that I have that set, I'm going to jump right over to my edit uh, panel. And for the essentials, I do want to start out just to beef it up a little bit with Accent AI. And now let's get into enhancing the eyes. All right? So I have that set. I like where it's at. Now I'm going to start with the face. And with, with face, I'm going to come down to eyes. And I'm going to crank up the eye enhancer. And look what it's automatically doing. I'm going to put a little lens flare or iris flare in there. And what that's going to do is add just a touch of catch lights in her eye. Look at that. Right here. Good. Now, it doesn't, she doesn't appear to have dark patches under her eyes, but watch this. Now, what I'm doing here is removing that those dark circles, and, and by removing those dark circles, it's also going to enhance the eyes, because now it's, you're going to be drawn to the eyes itself. So let's look at before and after. So here it is. I'm going to turn it off, and I'll turn it back on. I mean, how amazing is that? AI just took out all the tedious stuff I have to do with the eyes. You know, going in, making sure the pupil is nice and black, making sure that I enhance the iris, add the little catch lights. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it takes time to do that, especially if I'm doing it manually. And then, because it's AI, I can apply this to multiple images and it'll reassess each image and apply the proper settings, all right? So let's continue with the set it. So the eyes are looking really good. I'm gonna add just a little more light to the face. And with skin while I'm here, let's enhance the skin a little bit. I love when I enhance the skin. It's not affecting um, her, her freckles. All right, let's see. Before and after. Good. Now, Bill is asking, can you change the position of the iris? For as of now, the answer to that is no. So it knows enough that here's the catch light, and it's putting the iris flare right down in here. You see that? So it knows where it's adding it. So it's intelligent enough to know that the light source is coming in here. Let's add a little catch light on the opposite side. Um, in the future, that may, be, that may be an option to where we can move it, but as it stands right now, um, it does it automatically for us. All right, and if you have questions, please ask, ask them while we're on air, and we'll try to answer those as fast as we can. And if not, we'll try to come back and answer them. All right, so, I'm going to start, I'm going to pull out just a little bit before, after we have it set. Now, what I may want to do is come in with a vignette tool. I'm going to select the subject and now just darken just around her a little bit. That looks good. 
And one other thing I probably want, I, I know I want to do, is I want to check out the new Composition AI. Because look at this light leakage here. Let's see what it does for us. Ooh, look at that. Good. So it's smart enough to know that these areas on the side here are a distraction. And I got rid of that. Oh, I like it. And I'll apply it. Great. And there we have it. So that can be our final shot. Here's before. And here's after. So again, by using the power of AI, I didn't have to use any complicated masking. I didn't have to go in and adjust any of the or any of my tools, <clears throat> any of my tools, and go in and hand select the eyes itself. AI did it for me. Now, if you're the type that wants to go back in, and let's say using you know a tablet like this, you want to go in and you want to paint a very thin black line around the iris itself to add more to draw more attention to it, you're, you're free to do that. This gives you either a great base or a great finish. And now I can save this as a template and then apply it to um, an entire set of images. All right, let's check. Hello from Australia. We have a lot of our friends from Australia coming in. Now, guys, if you feel what you're learning um, is value, please give us a good thumbs up. Um, it makes our producers very happy. And if you have questions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments below. And, and our goal is to help answer all the questions either on air or after. On Fridays, Angela and I will both do um, a wrap-up session and we'll cover all the stuff we've done throughout the week. And there's where people will start asking more and more questions. I think the last one lasted a little over 30 minutes. So the whole purpose of these coffee breaks is to be interactive. So before the shows, make sure you um, come up with your questions, pop them into the comments below, and we'll try to answer them on air. All right? Hey, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you at the next coffee break.